Alright, so we've just, uh, we're currently deploying a hyperspectral radiometer. Basically, it's an instrument that measures uh, what, what light at pretty high resolution through the water column. So how deep is the light going into the water and what wavelengths of light are making it to certain depths. Uh, the same instrument is also collecting salinity and temperature data for us at various depths. And then uh, I will pull that instrument up in a few minutes and then we will put the bottles over the side of the boat and see how that goes. And we will put those bottles in at 50, 20, 10, 5, and right at the surface. Uh, those values were in meters. All right. And uh, the way it works is these are called messengers and they slide down the cable. They hit this white piece here which then allows doors on the top and bottom of the bottle to close and trap the water at the depth where the bottle is sitting. And they're also rigged up so that you can hook another messenger. And once this bottle is triggered, it releases the messenger down the line to the next bottles. So you can get a bunch of bottles at various depths. So again, we have them at 50, 20, this one's going to 10, the next one will be five, and then we'll do two at the surface, right here below us. Send her down. I can just feel when the bottles are hit with the messengers, I can feel a little tug through the cable. So it feels like all the uh, bottles were hit by messengers. And now we just do the reverse of what we did to put them down. We just take the messengers off, we unclip the bottles, and then uh, once all the bottles are on here on deck, uh, Elizabeth will show you how we empty them. And so now that the samples are on board, Elizabeth is emptying the GoFlow bottles into smaller plastic amber bottles for filtration back in the lab. And we also tend to take a trip around Torgerson Island to look at some penguins after we finish our sampling. Once the samples are collected and brought on shore, Elizabeth is filtering uh, the water over here. And we're filtering about 200, 400 milliliters of water, so maybe 600 milliliters of water whenever the filter turns green. And the filter will turn green because of phytoplankton that are being stuck on the filter. I can show you one right now. And then she'll show us the filter right now. It doesn't come out so well, it looks white, but really it's brown. And then we will analyze the samples later in the week for chlorophyll content. We're also setting aside samples to look at the polysaccharides in the water. And we have other samples set aside for cell counting and DNA analysis, as well as the nutrients such as nitrate or phosphate in the water. And each of these brown bottles are the ones that were collected from the various depths when we were on the Zodiac earlier today. And that's Elvis in the background.